What is going on guys? My name is Will Sickness and welcome to another YouTube video. So today is the day that I'm going to be showing you guys the best OBS settings for streaming on YouTube or Twitch or whatever website you do like to stream on. So we're going to go straight into it. So first of all, settings right down there or you can just go a setting, a file then settings. So obviously the general doesn't really matter. Just make sure your language is correct. Appearance. Honestly, it really um, depends what you want to do. Like, if you want to have Rachenchi, it looks cool. That's what you need to do. So stream, obviously, put your streaming settings in. I do stream to YouTube. I just need to put my stream key in there. So you just press use the stream key. And obviously, that's my stream key right there. So yeah, that's all good. So now you're going to press output. So this is streaming. So if you are doing a single PC setup and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, please press the video encoder for NVENC. Please press that. But if you do not, or, or if you have a Ryzen 7 or an Intel i7 or above, anything with like eight cores above. I've got a Ryzen 9 and this is a dual PC setup because X264 is going to uh, net you the best quality possible. So make sure that's on X264 or NVENC depending what you're using. If you are using NVENC, the settings are exactly the same as this. It does net you a little worse quality, but if you obviously are doing single PC um, streaming, then you don't want to have your game lagging now do you right so once you get down to there rescale output i stream in 720p just because i want my viewers to have the best uh, experience because if you stream in 1080p some of viewers can't handle that with their internet let's say if they're watching on like a mobile data or something they won't be able to download it quick enough so i want all my viewers to be able to watch it and it's a stream at the end of the day it's not like like a, a YouTube video that you need at 4K or 1440p or whatever you need. Um, so the rate control, always, always, guys, always have this at CBR. Always have that at CBR. Otherwise, you are going to mess up some things. Uh, bit rate, so I'm going to put a um, text on the screen right now of the bit rates that you should be using depending on your internet so please go to speedtest.net to find out what your internet speeds are so i've got an 11 upload speed and well in between a 9 10 slash 11 slash 12 kind of upload speed um but if you got anything but a like above uh, one upload speed you can stream i mean you might be streaming at 700 bit rate but it will be still be streamable but i do 1500 risks because i want all my viewers to be able to see it and obviously i'm using x264 so even when you're watching it back it i mean it, it's not like amazing amazing it's just because of the bit rate but because of x264 it really does pump up the game and it's just so much fun honestly so Keyframe interval, I use zero seconds. Some um, streaming services does say is two seconds, but I always do zero because then there's less lag and everything. So CPU usage preset, if I just press that, you can see everything. So ultra fast is if you got the worst CPU in the world, like, I don't know, an Intel Core Duo or something. Um, I use medium because obviously Ryzen 9, 12 cores, and it hardly uses any CPU as well. I can technically go on slower and very slow, but there is real no point on doing that. Um, so if you are on a single PC setup and using X264 and you've got like a Ryzen 5 or above, I would recommend doing fast. Please do fast. I do medium just because obviously I want the best quality uh, dual PC setup. So definitely is worth it. Uh, profile, please use to high. So now we're going to go to the audio tab. So these are 320 just because that is how I record my videos. But when you're streaming, 160 is the main one to go for, guys. 160. Just set that for 160. If I'm going a bit too fast, please let me know in the comments and I can try and um, explain it more in the comments. So audio, obviously, I don't know what you guys have. Just do whatever audio systems you guys do use. Um, so yeah that that's what i do so i've got my music i've got my voice chat like discord i got the microphone that i'm actually talking into and then i put in the line in and that's like my gaming pc how i get all the sounds and everything so 
if we go to video now, um, I always keep this at my native resolution. So whatever you're playing your games at or whatever. So I do have a 1440p display, but because this is a dual PC setup and I'm using my Elgato um, 4K60, I scroll it down to 1920 by 1080. So yeah, I would recommend doing this. So just keep it, whatever your display capture, display game capture, whatever you're using is. Uh, so 1920, 1920. So about the scaled. So obviously canvas is what your display is at. But scaled is completely different. So if you're wanting to stream at 720p, then please put this to 720p. But if I go back to output, go to streaming, I have mine and rescale output out here, 720p. The reason behind that is because if I go to recording, I want to record my um, recordings in 1920 by 1080. But obviously if I set this to, if I do the scale to um, 1280 by 720, I will have to record in 720p what i do not want to do so i want to do everything in 1080p so if that makes sense so leave this to 1920 by 1080 if you want to record in 1080p but you want to stream in 720p because obviously sometimes i stream and record at the same time so that is what i do really do recommend downscale filter it used to be good but now with a new update you literally don't even have to touch that and obviously depending what uh, frame rate you want to record at then put that to that i always do 60 fps because it's so much smoother uh hotkeys really depends up to you Accessibility up to you guys and then advance if you're having struggle running your OBS like if it's lagging or anything then please run OBS as admin and if that does not work either then process priority do that to the highest and yeah if I just scroll down one thing I really do recommend is automatically reconnect. So just keep that for two seconds and 25. My stream went down the other day. It reconnected instantly. And obviously it just went two seconds. So my stream didn't even get interfered really. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video guys. I know it's kind of a quick video, but I just wanted to go through my settings because I know when I go through my OBS, like when I first like load up application, when I install it on a new PC, I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I go straight to YouTube and try and find the best quality settings. But obviously, as I said, the bit rate, it really depends that uh, on the video quality for your streams. But yes, as I did say, guys, thank you everybody so much for watching. My name has been More Sickness. You guys have been absolute awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. And remember, dab on the haters.